Hey guys, welcome back to Wix Fix. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to create this amazing Amazon affiliate website here within Wix. So as you can see, we were just on our products page and we just opened up a product and we can check it out more and then this buy link would be a link to Amazon. So let me go ahead and show you how I built it. Some of you guys might know that in the Wix app market, there is an Amazon app. So if we add that to site, you can kind of see what this looks like. It's kind of ugly, not very customizable, and the last I checked, it didn't even work. So I'm gonna show you guys a way that is far more customizable, looks very modern and user-friendly, and it works. Let's get started. First, let's just open up a blank template. First thing I'm going to do is create pages. So home, we're actually going to rename to products. And we'll go ahead and create a contact page so that if businesses want to sell stuff on your site, they can be able to reach you. First thing we're going to do with design is we're going to change the background. We're going to do like uh, like a solid color. Uh, we're going to do customize design. I personally do not like the borders, so I always remove them. And then I always do the background. We're going to do like a, let's do like F-A-F-A because that's what I always use. So F-A-F-A-F-A. There we go. And then we're gonna do the center background zero because that's not important. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add our logo, which I already have one built, or I already have one uploaded, so we'll go ahead and just use that. And mine's just gonna be the Amazon logo, like smile logo, just for the sake of the, the tutorial. Alrighty, and then we're gonna go ahead and grab a menu. So the menu, bring it here. All right, we're obviously gonna shrink it down. Do customize, the customize design. We're gonna do text, we're gonna do like what? Like Roboto, and we'll make this bold. Okay, regular is black. Um, I don't like this color, so we'll go ahead and change it out for something else. I'm actually gonna go ahead and grab this color, which if you don't know what this is, this is just a Chrome extension for a color picker. So I suggest using that if you don't already have it. So we're gonna go ahead and press change. We're going to cycle it out. And we're gonna put in that color we just got from the color picker extension. There we go. And actually hover, we're gonna do something a little lighter and click to we're gonna do this color, cool. Alrighty, so now the header is all done. And honestly, let's just do the same thing for the footer. So now the header and footer is done. Okay, next thing I want to do is go ahead and set up the product catalog. So down here, the content manager is not available quite yet. So we have to go up to dev mode and turn on dev mode. This little pop-up box will pop up. And then we can basically just shrink and minimize all of these things that popped up for dev mode. The content management icon is now here. So we'll go ahead and click it. We'll do create new collection. We'll do blank and we'll call it products. All right, and we're just gonna leave this as site content. It's gonna open up like an Excel looking sheet for us to fill out. So this title, we're gonna go ahead and change it to product name. Then we're gonna go ahead and add a product image. And we're gonna go ahead and make this an image in the field type. Then we're gonna go ahead and press products like description. We're gonna do product price. We're gonna do, do like category. That way we can um, make this, we can create category pages. So we'll go ahead and make the field type tags. Then we're gonna go ahead and add product gallery. And we're gonna make this a media gallery. Lastly, we need the product link. So here is where you would put the link to Amazon. And we'll go ahead and change the field type to URL. All right, there we go. And then here you basically just fill out your product and you add an image, uh, the de a description of the product, the pricing of it on Amazon or whatever. Uh, you make it, you put a category. So if it's clothing, you can put clothing and then you can create a clothing page on your website. 
then we're gonna add like a few more images here for them and then we're gonna put the link to where the user can buy it. So just go ahead and fill this out and I'll be right back after it's done. All right, and this is roughly what it should look like after you're done filling it out. So it should have the name of the product, an image for it, a brief description of it, the pricing, the category it belongs to. You can add multiple if you want to. Then we're gonna have a gallery that shows multiple different things. And then we're gonna have a link to Amazon as well. Publish the website, then we can go to products, and then we can publish this data set live. So now that the data is published, when we set it up, the user will be able to view it. So let's go ahead and start setting it up. First thing we're gonna do is go to add. We're gonna go to listing grid, then we're gonna grab a simple repeater, pull it out, and then just go ahead and delete the content that's already in the repeater. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and press stretch. We'll do like full width and we'll do like 80. And what I did in the example was I added 25% pixel margin. Alrighty, and then we're gonna go ahead and expand these out to about, like, let's say like 320, I guess would be fine. Alrighty, and then we're gonna go ahead and select add. We're gonna do box, we're gonna grab a theme box. We're going to shrink it up a little bit so that we can put it into the repeater. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and make sure it fills up the entire repeater image. We're gonna go to design, customize design, fill in opacity and lower that to zero. All right, next what we're gonna do is do hover interaction. So we'll do add hover interaction. And we'll change the design background to black and we'll do like 50% go and then we're going to add something to the hover effect so we're going to go add text or pull out a text element all right and we'll go ahead and edit it we'll make sure it's white we will make it 35 and we'll make it roboto bold roboto bold and we will center it unfortunately there's no tools to make sure everything is directly in the center but you just kind of eyeball it and then we're gonna go ahead and add a button. So we'll go to button right here. We'll grab this button, pull it out, and we'll center it up to the text. And we will change the text to like more info. And we'll change the design of it to also Roboto. Roboto, why can't I say it today? All right, there we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and exit the hover mode. And then we're gonna go down to content manager. We will do add content elements and we'll do data set. So it's going to pull out this little element. So when we click settings on this, we're going to connect this to the products data set that we created. And then what we're going to do is pair everything to this data set. So I'm going to go ahead and raise this up a little bit so we, that way we can grab the image behind it. And we'll do connect to data. We're going to do data data set, our product data set. And then we'll do product image. So then we can bring this back down. And then let's go ahead and press hover interactions and edit. Then we're gonna grab the text. We will link this to the product name and we will link the button. So actually we don't have this linked up quite yet. So we'll just leave this alone for now. And now let's kind of test it out real quick. So if we press preview, the background image is going to be the image and it's going to have the name but if we click more info nothing's going to happen quite yet so let's go ahead and get started on that so if we go down to content manager products and we click this little three dot icon and do add dynamic page it's going to create a page for us and the thing about dynamic pages is it always adds something to the site menu so let's go ahead and just delete this and then we can check out our dynamic pages here Let's go ahead and delete the products all page because that's basically what our home page is. Okay, there we go. And we do product name page. And let's just go ahead and delete all the elements on here because we don't need it. And we'll bring this little icon over here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add a gallery. And typically with product pages, this is what a gallery would look like. So go ahead and put this here. Then we're gonna go ahead and add a text for the product name. So we'll put this maybe like 35 and we'll make this Roboto bold and we'll call it product name. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add a little description right here. 
We'll also make this rubato, but we'll make it thin and we'll make it bold so it's not thin. It's just like the regular. And we'll make this like 20 pixels. There we go. And this will be the product description. Then we'll go ahead and grab this right here and we'll make this the product price. And we will make this Roboto bold. And finally, let's go ahead and add a button and we will change the design so it's the Roboto text. And now we just need to link everything like we did with the repeater. So let's go ahead and link this to the product gallery. There we go. Product name, we're gonna link to product name. Product description, we'll go ahead and link to product description. The price, we will link to the price. And button, we are going to link to um, the product URL, so the link. And we're gonna change the text to like buy now. So now if you preview the backpack, it should fill in the information for us. Don't mind this. There we go. So now it is working and if we click buy now, it'll take us to the link. So that's working just fine. So now that we have this page complete, let's go ahead and go back to the products page and we can go ahead and do the hover interactions and edit. Now we can actually link this more info to that dynamic page that we just created. So let's go dynamic page, it's gonna be right there. There we go. So now if we preview it again, now it's working. So all of them say more info and if we click it, it should open up that dynamic page. So now on this dynamic page, if we look at the example, we had this section down here that was like things you may like, and it had kind of the similar style. So let's go ahead and recreate that. So down here, what we're gonna do is go ahead and add a quick strip. So we'll do classic strip, and we'll just pull it out. There we go, and we'll pull it up because it doesn't need to be that low. And then actually let's expand this out. Let's actually pull out the toolbar real quick, and we will make this about 600 pixels. It's not gonna be that big, but just for now. We'll go ahead and add a text element. We'll expand it, and we'll edit it to say, things you may like. And we'll go ahead and make it Roboto. Make this like, what, like 45? We'll make it that nice orange. And we will center it up. And we'll go ahead and center up this element on the page. So I'm actually just gonna copy this over. So we're just gonna copy this, this repeater. We'll go over to the dynamic page and we'll just go ahead and paste it in. We'll do manage items and we'll delete three of them. So now we can pull it up into the strip. And next we need to add another content element. So we'll go ahead and bring it in. We'll do the same process as before. So we will choose products. But for this one, the number of items to display, we're only gonna do three. So that way it doesn't show the whole product catalog like on the home page. It's only gonna show three different items. So now let's go ahead and do that same process where we kind of raise up the container box. We'll select the background. We will pair it to the product data set because that's the name of this one right here. And the background is gonna be the image. And we'll go ahead and bring this down and we'll customize the hover interaction again and we'll do this to the product name and this is going to link to that dynamic page again so now that that is all linked up and looking good we can now exit this mode now we can kind of shrink this up a little bit oops not that so now if we preview this page this is what it's gonna look like. Awesome. And the last thing I kinda wanna show you is let's say you wanted to create a product page, but maybe for clothing, right? So if we check back in the content manager, we created these tags for categories. So all of them, that's kinda like clothing item. I put wearables as a tag. So now, if we want, we can go back to the site menu we can maybe duplicate this page. We can call this one like clothing, okay? And it can either be a main page or you can actually make it a sub page, which is what I'm gonna do. So that way when people hover over products, clothing is gonna be an option. So let's go ahead and go to clothing 
And the only thing we have to do here is go to this data set. We'll do settings and we will apply a filter and we'll make sure that we are selected on categories. And if it includes wearables, then that's what it's gonna show. So it's only gonna show the items in the data set that have wearable as a tag. And that is basically how you create this Amazon affiliate website here in Wix. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to press that subscribe button for more content like this in the future. If you have any questions about Wix or Editor X or anything about this tutorial here today, be sure to leave them in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as possible. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.